Hello, and welcome to the channel. My name is Rob, and I'll be unboxing the Elgato Wave Mic Arm today. If this is your first time to the channel and you like the video, please like and subscribe. All right, let's go ahead and get this started here. As you can see here, this is the box that they ship it in. Pretty standard. You can see here we've got the uh, different features, what the product can do. I like the fact that it has cable management, these channels that run along here that will allow you to hide your cabling and run it down. The last one I had it was a cheap one, and you just kind of had to wrap the cable through it. It was mostly all hollowed out here. I do like the clamp design here. I do like how it's a large surface area, clamps onto the desk, and it should hold real well. They do include, it looks like an extension cable, if you do need to extend this up and get this a little bit higher off your desk. Uh, might be good for a situation where you might, maybe you want to mount it behind your monitor and have it come over. See here the different sizes that would allow you to mount it there. So just make sure that your mic has one of these on it before you purchase it. Now I did buy this directly from Elgato. All right. Take a look and see what's inside. here we've got some basic description of the product and all the measurements you might need how to use the desk clamp in case you need instructions for something like that it's your cable management system different type of threads you can put on there depending on how your mic what size your mic needs Here, this should be the extension arm. Like I said earlier, if you need to have something that goes above your desk, trying to get over your monitor, I should say. Here's the clamp. Got the Elgato logo, logo here on the back. Plastic here, this is all metal. All right, this is what they uh, they call their counterweight. It's mostly just a big heavy chunk of metal that should help balance out your mic when you go to move it, keep it from moving around on you. Plastic covering on here, metal beams in the middle there. All right, see a warning here, just to be careful, this is spring-loaded. Apply a little tension to it before we take this off. Well, isn't too bad. See here. Your mounting point. So you can both turn and pivot here. Make it fully adjustable to get to where you'd like it to be. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to go ahead and get this mounted, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so we got it all hooked up, and uh, I would say it's uh, pretty nice so far. Here, of course, you can see the uh, channel where you can run your cable through. Let's move the mic here out of the way. 
And this is just a piece of rubber here. It slides in this little channel here. You slide it off. And you can see here. That's really all it is. And But you just put your cable in there. Slide it on. There you go, your cable's now out of the way. I do like it. It seems pretty strong and sturdy. Uh, we'll have to see uh, how time treats it and how long it's going to last. All right, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and click here for the uh, next video, which I think the next video we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the Wave 3 here, which we're going to upgrade from our Blue Yeti we've been using for quite a few years uh mostly i'm get, doing this one because i wanted to use the software that comes with it and check that out but to match it we've got the shock mount here to mount it to the new arm and then we've got the uh pop filter to see if that helps don't forget to like and subscribe if you did like this video and uh see you in the next one